welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Airsoft pistol. It's a gas blowback pistol and it's an armory works. It's called the AX2003 high cover. It's an amazing pistol and I cannot wait to show you guys. First, we're going to do an unboxing of this pistol. Secondly, we're going to test the duels and what dual levels it shoot with 2.30 gram BBs from GNG Armory. And we're gonna be using this gas, Ultra Air, ASG gas. Okay, first off, when you buy the weapon, this is how it comes. It comes in this package. I've already played with it quite a few times, but I kept everything as nice and neat as possible so I can show you guys. You get this pretty nice box. It has a consumer warnings. It shows which model you have. This is the 2003. I'm not sure if it's a new model. I think it's new-ish, maybe a year old. I, I had it for three months now, so yeah. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing pistol. At least it looks wise. <laughs> okay, so you open it up. And now it comes the manual. One second, I'm gonna remove this. You can see this. This is how much it cost in Denmark. Uh, 1,349 kroners. That is basically $200 plus a little bit more. Then you get this owner's manual. It's It doesn't even have any pages. It's just, it's just taking, it's just this. It says, uh, always wear eye protection. I have glasses, you know. Uh, it shoots 9mm BBs, it's a gas blowback gun, you have to be 18 at least, and it says gas blowback. It's made in Taiwan, like 90% of everything in this world. The owner's manual, let me show you here quickly, let me give you a gig, quick review. It basically shows everything that we just watched. Um, 12 kg green gas, it, it, it can use green gas, but I'm just using ordinary gas. Um, I'm actually shooting way too high with this gun already, so I'm not gonna use green gas. Um, keep away from fire, obviously, because gas. Uh, never store above 40 degrees. Well, <laughs> in today, my apartment was 41 degrees, which was quite insane. Don't aim at people, I don't know, like, you know. Just the, just the normal stuff, like, you can register it to the website and just see, see what's on it and you get all kind of information. But you know, we don't really care about the use of manual, do we? What you guys are here for is this weapon, this pistol. So it comes in a, it's it's okay box. It's It can slide a little bit around. There's a little bit slide to it, but we don't pay for the box. I wish to a such expensive gun as this, as this to 200 plus dollars. I wish it came in a nice box, like a, like a pistol case, you know, like, like I actually expected that, but I guess not. Like, but but for an expensive gun like this, it should come in a box no matter what. Like, it it makes no sense. Come on, come on, custom works. <laughs> it sh it should be. Well, you get a magazine, standard gas magazine with the fill valve in the bottom and the lips and top and the gas release. There's some gas in it. I'm not gonna push it out now. It's also really really hard to push out. Well, rip magazine. You get this to the bottom of your magazine. If you wanna, um, let me get it out here. Get this, if you wanna change out some stuff. It's okay. And some stuff I have no idea that looks like. Yeah, I actually have no idea about this, but you get that. Then you get what you want the most. You get a nice pistol. So let's open this up. So, it comes in this plastic, like, it's, it doesn't seem to me very premium, like a premium gun, does it? Like, it's kind of, it's kind of sad that you buy such an expensive gun, such an expensive gun, and you know what? It doesn't even come in a nice box, but okay. So this is the gun you get. It's all black. This. It's metal, 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 metal. 
some some plastic here metal metal um, we have fiber optics you can see it's gonna it it loses some of the um, the painting but you know that's what it gets for being in a in one of those pistol hot um, cases or whatever it's called like you know um, it's a green fiber optic and orange fiber optic in the back um, it's pretty cool it looks nice it's a little bit wobbly actually I have tightened it up like four or five times now but it, it gets wobbly for some reason I don't know listen to this by the way like like listen that's how it sounded the first day I opened it that's really really wobbly now we put in the mag it's like what is this like what is this you hold it like what is this anyways you have this cool ass looking pistol let's just be honest guys this is such an insane looking pistol it has the speed trigger um it's really really heavy the gas blowback is insanely rough like it shoots really hard it shoots insanely insanely hard the gas blow gas pushes back so crazily it's insane you heard that it has a very nice sound to it like when you shoot with this gun you feel like an absolutely beast i wish i had tried this gun before i bought it because it's actually this handle is way too big for my hand like i don't if i hold it around here i don't have a very nice grip on it but you know what yeah uh, if you have a bigger hand than me, my hand is a, is just an average hand. But if you have a bigger hand, this pistol is amazing for you. Um, I can show you quickly. There's no BBs in the magazine. And no, no BBs, BBs in the valve. Oh yeah, it doesn't always Go go back to this to lock position, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It sounds crazy. Um, so basically, this is what you get out of the package. It's a good-looking gun. It looks nice. It feels very high quality, except the wobbly stuff. Like it shouldn't wobble, man. Like come on, maybe I got a really bad apple. Who knows? But it's wobbles like crazy, but I love this pistol to death. It looks amazing, but I'm actually looking at getting something well, else. Before we do the shooting test, I want to pluck something quickly. I am not getting paid. I said this many times before. This is some gun um, loop, you can call it. Um, I use it for my HPA systems and I use it for my guns. This is a deadly important thing to use to your pistol, especially a blowback pistol of this caliber because it needs it badly. I had some problems with it and I had to take it apart. I mean, I had to take it apart and it didn't work. So I had to like lube everything up again inside. Like it's very, it's it's completely lubed up at this point, but you know, you, you have to do what you gotta do. But remember to use this stuff. It's important, man. I'm gonna be testing the gun now. And as I said before, we're gonna be using 0 0.30 gram BB. And with the magazine, you can just hold it back like with all our normal magazines. Take your speed loader. Nice. And it's in. It's not entirely perfect, but you know what? There we go. Pretty much perfect, except one baby. Nice. In with the magazine, put it on safe. So we're going to be testing the gun now, and the first way we're gonna be testing the gun is by measuring the jewels, and we're gonna measuring the jewels, be measuring the jewels with this um, um, chronograph. It's a standard chronograph you can buy probably at every every place like airsoft place. I put it on feet per second so Americans can also understand what's going on. I obviously also set the caliber to six to six millimeters 
and the BB to 0.30 gram. Let's try to see how it, how it goes. 1.2 joule with a 0.30 gram BB. I actually had, I was using 0.25 gram BBs in the beginning. I was shooting 1.4, 1.5 joules with a 0.25. I actually had to go up in joules because otherwise I was shooting too hard from my local field. Let's test some bullet. Let's keep testing a little bit. Oops. Well, shameless plug, that's my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very nice. Let's uh, put nice. the camera back. <laughs> remember to wear safety glasses like I am. Super 1.23 joules. 1.22 joules. 1.18 joules. 1.18 joules. 1.16 joules. 1.16 joules. 1.18 joules. 1.15 joules. Let's turn it on again quickly. I put it, I put it on so it turns on very, very it turns off very fast. 1.19 joule. So it went from 1.2. 4 joule to 1.9 joule ish. It's pretty average. 293 feet per second. I think that's pretty decent. Actually, I would have liked for my gun to only shoot 0 0.8 joule. But right now I'm not gonna do anything else. I might go up to 0 0.32 gram BBs to make it shoot less, like less joules. Because I want to use it for very close uh, engagements and 1.2, 1.3 joules is pretty hard if you want to shoot very close. So yeah, and if I shoot 1.8, I mean 0.8 or 0.9 joule, nobody's really gonna notice. Um, and they're not gonna whine like crybabies if I shoot them. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the shooting test. I'm shooting around 9 to 10 meters away. It's nothing impressive, but that's definitely what your standard engagement is going to be from outside. Even longer, but if it's longer than 10 meters, you're going to use your main hand instead of your pistol, I guess. And this is not upgraded at all, by the way. It's completely factory. So take that into consideration. Thank you. Are you ready? And this is how it looks when there's no more BBs left. As you can see, it's actually a pretty decent grooming before I started shooting like crazy. If you're shooting properly while you're shooting, it should be a pretty decent grooming. If you can see all the BBs were right here while I was just shooting. And when you start shooting like crazy, it's all over the place. But to be fair, outside while you shoot with a gun, it can be a little bit inconsistent. Um, it's empty, obviously. It can be a little bit inconsistent, um, but the gas blowback and how it looks and everything just makes up for, for what it lacks in other places. So overall with this pistol, what can I say? It's a pistol that looks amazing. It has a crazy blowback. The blowback is absolutely insane. The fiber optics are very nice. It did fall off and I contacted it and they sent in a new one within one day. Like it fell off. Could be for whatever reason, who knows. Um, this uh, part of the the, um, the barrel, this part out here, it actually fell off so I had to put it back on myself and I had to glue it. 
The glue was damaged for some reason. I don't know how the glue gets damaged for this. Um, otherwise than that, never had a single feeding problem with this weapon. Never. Like, never. It's an attraction on the field. People love it. People are like, oh my god, that looks amazing. That's such a cool gun. It's extremely heavy, which makes it feel amazing to play with. I know some people might be, oh, it's so heavy and I have to run around with it all day. But I, I like the effect, like the... Like, like it's the reality effect, can you say that? Like the realism? The realism of this gun is absolutely amazing. Like, it's so fun. Um, the save works nice. It's, it's on both sides. It's pretty cool. You can only release the mag from one side. That's whatever. I mean, if you use the other side hand, it's not so nice, but you can actually move it to the other side if you want to. Um, so that's cool, but yeah, overall, it's an amazing looking pistol, it performs fairly well. It is not the most precise gun out there, but you know what, it's probably one of the best looking guns. So yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Remember to, to lubricate it, to make it actually go nice, you have to sustain it, you have to take good care of it. It's a high, high maintenance gun. I know some gas blowback guns, you can use them for five months without ever doing anything and it works perfectly. This is not one of the guns, high maintenance. Remember to lube it up. Remember to use the spray. It's like, you know, always spray your magazine. Like, you know, you can spray in the top. Put, don't put lube on here. Like, use the liquid spray stuff you can you can buy at years of fields. Maybe put someone on this too. Like, it's good. Lube up this down here. Like. Just keep it nice and lubed up. Remember, don't plast it in all kinds of stuff. Remember to keep it fairly dry. Like, not dry dry, but like, you don't want all the dirt to collect in all these crevices. So yeah, it's a good gun. It works amazingly, it shoots amazingly. And it looked amazing, so I guess that's the most important part. The only things is the things I already mentioned. And... It would be nice to get some packaging that's not just paper to 200 and something dollars. That would be very appreciated. But yeah, go out, buy this. You don't buy it for the box anyways. You buy it for how it looks, for how it shoots. With some small upgrades, this is probably going to be one of the best guns you will ever have. So yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to me. I'm trying here really 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 hard I'm trying really hard here to create a YouTube channel. I'm gonna do reviews. I'm gonna do streaming I'm just gonna do gameplay. I'm actually gonna stream a game in the weekend. That's the plan on Sunday two days from now I'm gonna stream and record a game if it's possible um, I would love to put gameplay up right now. I cannot buy GoPro some some borrowing some stuff to see if it works so yeah please remember to subscribe remember to click that bell button and write something nice in the comments to me it makes me very happy every single time i get a comment my, my heart jumps like oh my god i'm like I, I run into my wife i'm like somebody comment somebody comment somebody subscribe to my channel you know <laughs> it's amazing so yeah like everything helps i love you guys and girls and uh thank you for watching peace out